Hey guys, guys, it's Young Simba here. Um, today's gonna be uh, you know, one of the elementary lessons that you really need in order to become a really good music producer. Um, as you can see right here, I've uh, started one of my projects. You can see it. This is my phone camera. Um, but that doesn't matter. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about the things that you really need and uh, three three things uh one is music theory um two is having the idea the song idea before you start playing it and uh three is uh mixing and mastering okay um number one music theory music theory music 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 theory you need to understand music theory in order for your beats to sound in tune, in order for your beats to stay in the scale, to stay on point and on key. And uh, if you don't understand music theory, you will be a one trick pony. Um, and you know, you don't want to be that. You don't want to only have go to notes, you know, like you don't want to be the, like the pop. Like the pop genre that literally just plays three chords, right? Because that's the most uh, recognized chords. You don't want to do that. You want to, you know, be able to experiment with different scales. You want to be able to make nice chords, ninth, uh, you know, sevenths, majors, minors, you know, aug, augmented, diminished. You know, even if, if you know, chances are you won't use those type of chords. Um, but if it comes to that, you know, it will make you separate, it will separate you from the crowd using those different types of chords instead of, uh, you know, being very basic, uh, you know, you'll be able to make really nice melodies because you understand the science behind it. So music theory is super important, super important. Can't stress that out. Um, second thing, and one of the things that even I struggle with Till this day is having the idea before you get on FL Studio or whatever DAW you, you use. Now, having the idea is so, so, so crucial because without having the idea, you are you're wasting your time on the computer. You know, you don't know where to go. You don't know what to start. It's like trying to have a make a recipe with no directions with no instructions think about how hard that is that's fucking hard you know you need to know where you're going the song must you need to know where you're going you know you don't have to have a full picture because, you know, when you get feedback from other people, you say, oh, you know, you should change this, you should change that. But initially, at least for the first 16 bars, you need to know. You definitely need to know or else you're wasting your time and you're just burning, 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 wasting precious time. All right? And then you're stuck and then your, your projects just are just shit. I remember when I first started out, this was my number one thing, and I would be stuck there. You know, I sort of have an idea in my head. It always turned out to be something else. I got so pissed off. Uh, and uh, third one is mixing and mastering. Now, this one is something that is really uh, overlooked, you know, in the uh, in our professional book, the Amateur uh, Music Production Society. And people don't really know how to use this, right? You know, um, you know. I ask people, what, 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 uh, what does a compressor and a limiter do? And like, oh, yeah, it just makes it louder. No, no, compressors and limiters do way more than that. You know, you could literally, uh, you can change the upper harmonics of an eight hundred eight. You can make it sound brighter using a compressor. You can, uh, obviously, you can make it louder stuff. You can even, like, change the flavor of the the sound a little bit, very subtle, make it subtle uh, with compressors and limiters. And there are many, many other things that you can do with it that 
is uh, something that, you know, you, you guys should really look into, you know. And people, they, you know, they just think EQing is, you know, oh, I just EQed it, so I, I'm good. Um, you know, there's a, there's so many things in mixing and mastering. Tape saturation, um, you know, all the cool effects, you know, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't want to, you know, really delve into that topic. Um, and mastering, you just put it on a master, put a limiter on it, crank it up as loud as they can. And then they think that that's goals. That's like, that's how it goes. You know, they don't know things like dynamic range, you know, um, which is something that's very important. If you guys want to learn more, uh, you know, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll teach you guys, teach you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I love teaching. Um, and I got some cool things, cool, cool tricks and techniques. If you guys are interested, uh, click the link below. Bye.